Hey guys, welcome to another video. This video I'll show you how to make a developer panel that you can like add statistics to your leader stats. So let's start. If you haven't made your leader stats, then you can follow along with this. So in service script servers, press the plus, put in the script. Then we're gonna get when the player joins. So we're gonna do game dot players dot player added connect function player. Yep, we're gonna pass the player. Then we're gonna make a look a folder inside of the player. So we're gonna do local leader stats, or actually let's just do local stats equals instance dot new folder, and then we're gonna parent it the player. This is this putting it here is the same as doing stats dot parent equals player. It's just kind of quicker and nicer to do. Then uh, going down the line, we're gonna do stats dot name equals leader stats. So basically, when we join the game, we load it up right now. Then we should have a folder inside of our player that is called leader stats. Players, year player, as you can see, leader stats folder. Now, in that leader stats folder, we're going to add a value called coins. So local coins will equal instance.new int value and we're going to parent it to stats so it'll be inside of the stats leader stats folder a int value let's say we put in an int value here an int value is basically a value we can change the number so let's say we want 100 coins and we just set this to coins and then we're going to make the coin the name of it to coins dot name equals coins so it's like going to the value and then renaming it to coins now we're gonna set a default value, so local or actually coins dot value equals zero. This is a default value. Let's say you want the player to start off with ten coins, then you can set it to ten. But I'll do zero for this video. Now when we load up the game, we should have our leader stats, and that should be the leader stats script finish. Unless you want to add more leader stats, it's just the same thing as the coins. As you can see, once this loads up. Now we have a coins value right here. Now we're going to make the GUI or the dev panel or whatever you want to call it. So in starter GUI, press the plus and insert a screen GUI. Then in the screen GUI, you want to add a text button. This text button will be the button that will enable the developer panel or whatever you want to call it. Put it wherever you want. Decorate it however you want as well. I'll also show you how to make a G. Actually, I'll probably do that in another video. Just gonna add a UI corner list. It looks nicer. As you can see, nice little button. Now I'm gonna make the GUI that appears. So on the screen, GUI, press the plus, put in a frame, put the frame wherever you want. I'm gonna make like a little side panel, like this. Design the panel however you want. I'm gonna add a UI corner and I'm gonna copy the color of the background color of the button. As you can see here, this little panel right here. Now, in this panel, or wherever the frame you want, we'll first name the frame panel or something better than frame. Now, in the panel, you wanna add a text box. This is where we're gonna input how much money we want for to add. So scale this down or where to wherever you want and the size that you want. Just design it however you want, just like the rest of the objects. Change the text color, the text font, the size and all that. Just gonna make it bold. Then you might want to uh, rename the text box to let's say coins add then in the panel you want to add a text label or if you want to display which statistic you're changing the stats of put it a little over the text box like the background transparency to one and then you just make it say like whatever leader stat you're changing so in this case mine will be coins because it's the only leader stats that I have you see coins now we're going to make the submit button or the add button, press the plus on the panel, insert a text button, 
make this text button where you want. Put it down here. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller than the text box. Name the text button add. Gonna design it however you want to. Gonna add a UI list. I'm just gonna make it say add. Make it bold and make it white. Here we go. We can type in how much coins we want. When we press add, it'll give us coins, but we haven't coded it to do that. So first we're going to make it so when we press this button, it'll make this visible or not. In the text button down here, press the plus, insert date local script, and input this code. Script on parent on mouse button one clicked. Connect function. Basically, when the button is pressed, anything we put in between these lines will happen. So then we're going to get the parent we're gonna locate where the panel is so script dot parent dot parent dot panel dot visible because we're gonna talk with visibility equals not script dot parent dot parent dot panel dot visible so we're locating where it is it's the parent of the parent of the script so the script is inside of the text button <laughs> meaning the script or the, the parent of the text button or the so the script is inside of the text button meaning the parent of the script is the text button the text button is in the screen GUI meaning the parent of the text button is the screen GUI then inside the screen GUI we're selecting the panel that is inside of it and then we're getting its visibility and making it not visible so let's say if the panel is visible when we press the button we'll make it not visible but if the panel is visible when we press the button it will make it visible now you can make this invisible by pressing on the panel frame, searching up visible or finding it in the properties and making it unchecked. Now in the panel frame, you want to go to the add button. You want to put a local script in there. Now we're going to get when the button is, or first we're going to make our locals. So local player, we go game dot play the local player, then script dot parent dot mouse button one connect function so we're getting an abbreviation so let's say we put player it'll put in game dot player dot oops game dot player dot local player in for us so it'll just input this wherever we put that now it's just a shortcut so we don't have to type this out all the time now we're getting when the button is pressed now we're going to add whatever the number value in the coins add it or whatever you input there to the coins we're going to do player dot leader stats dot coins dot value equals player dot dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus script dot parent dot parents dot coins add dot text so basically player dot leader so we're getting the player's leader stats folder and we're getting the coins and the value of the coins inside of it then we're equaling it to that plus whatever the tech the text of the coins add is so now once we load up the game everything should be functional as you can see you can even check the output checking the output helps a lot to get the output to appear, you want to go to the models tab and the, or the view tab and then output. Now when we open the panel, as you can see, it appears. It's kind of conjoined with the open panel button, but that's alright. As you can see, now if we add nothing, then there is no value. So let's say we put in 10, add, boom, our coins has gone up 10. Let's say we want to increase it by 150 add and there you go our coins value is increasing by whatever amount we do let's do like 999 it's increasing some big jump and as if we type in a text like yes it won't add it because it's not a text and as you can see there will be an error but if we put in an actual number like one two three four there's just a lot of threes and we press add as you can see it's adding whatever number that we put in here and it went to negatives because it's too much there. So that's how you make a developer panel. I hope this video helped you create your game or anything and goodbye.